In this video, we will discuss how to write a C program to find the simple interest. And we are given principal, rate of interest, and time. So let's see. So the output that we want is we should be asked three things that is, principal, rate of interest, and time. So after the calculation, our program should give us the required answer that is, the simple interest. Now, if you see in the second output, here the principal rate of interest and times these are not integer values like in the first output those all thousand ten thousand rate of interest and time all are integers but in the second output principal rate of interest and time these are in the float values so we can understand that we can be given the integer values also and the float values also as the input and accordingly our simple interest can come as float value so we should understand that we should take the float data type for our input and for our output because float will be able to adjust all the values integer values also and float values also we can take double data type also for principal rate of interest time and simple interest variables but if float is sufficient then we should not take double data type as it will take more memory space the formula to calculate the simple interest is p into r into t by 100 so in our program we will first take three inputs that is principal rate of interest and time then we will do calculation that is processing using the formula si equal to prt by 100 and then we will print the output that is we will print simple interest so let's see how we will make the program so first we will include the header file that is studio.h because we will be using printf function and scanf function so let's include the header file that is hash include stdio.h now after that we will start the main function and as you know the last statement inside the main function is return statement so we will write return 0 now this is the skeleton code for our c program now let's write the main logic of our program so first we will take the input then we will do processing or you can say we will write the logic of our program and after completing the processing part we will print the output that is print output or you can say print simple interest or you can say si so in our program the input will be three variables that is principal rate of interest and time and all these three variables will be of type float so we will declare three variables float i will take principal comma rate comma time now we need one more variable that is to store the output that is simple interest so i will take s of i or you can write just small si now after the declaration of the variable we will enter the values inside those variables that is principal rate time so we will first print the message print and enter the value of principal or you can say enter the principal now we will scan the value scan f percentile f because we are scanning float value now this value will go inside the principal so we will write principal now as you know the values are scanned using the m percent so we have to write m percent now the value will go inside the principal the same way we will scan the value for the rate of interest so we will write print tab now scan the value percentile f and then rate now let's scan the value for the time we will say percentile f and m percent of time so we have completed the input part now let's see the processing part so processing part will be we will apply the formula so formula is si equal to we will take those three inputs that is principal rate and time and we will say prt divided by 100 now we are done with the processing part so now we have to print this output so to print we will use printf statement 
So this printf function will print my answer. So I want the output as the simple interest equal to. So I will just first print the message simple interest equal to now the answer is stored in SI and this SI is load value so we will say percentile F. So this completes our program. So let's see will this program work or not. So I run this program. So my program is asking me to enter the principal. So let's enter the principal. So let's say I enter 10,000 as the principal. Rate of interest, let's say 7 and say enter the time is 2. So let's see what is the output. So we are getting 14,000 as our output. So this is the correct output as we have seen earlier in the starting of the video. Now let's run it again and enter the float values as the principal rate time. So now let me input some float value. So I enter 25,000.50 rate of interest as 4.5 time as 2.5 and I got the simple interest as we have seen in the starting of the video that is 2812.556152. So this program is working fine and my output is also working correctly. Just one thing if you want the simple interest uh, till the two decimal places that is after the point or after the decimal I should get only two places answer that is for the second output I should get as 2812.55 or 56 as the output. So for that what you can do is you can say percentile point and you can say 2f. 2f means after the decimal I want only the two values that is just two places of the decimal I should be printing. So let's say will it work. So let me enter the same values to image 2.5. Yeah, my program is working correctly. I am getting the values after a decimal just with two numbers that is 0.56. Now you can write this principal rate of interest and time just using one scanner. So how we can do that? We can just write enter the principal comma rate comma time. Now we can enter all the three values in just one scanner. We will say percentile f percentile f comma n percent of principal comma n percent rate and comma n percent time. So this program will also work perfect. Let's see. Enter the principal as 10,000 rate as 7 and time as 2. So I am getting 1400 as the output and that is the correct answer as we have seen in the starting of the video. So I hope you have understood like how we can write the C program to find the simple interest. If you have any comments or suggestion or if you have not understood any of the things you can just write into the comments. If you have liked the video please subscribe the channel. See you in the next video. Bye bye.